This is a rhododendron, a very common plant found on Long Island. They do very well here with proper care. Things to remember with rhododendrons are one, they like to live in the shade. If you have a rhododendron in the full sun and the leaves are yellowing, more than likely it doesn't like being in the full sun. Rhododendrons have various nutritional requirements. They like to be in an acidic environment. If the nutritional level is off, you'll see a leaf that looks like this. This is called marginal necrosis. This is a very mild case. This is indicative of a fertilization problem. These are the buds. These are going to explode into beautiful flowers in another two weeks. The thing that's also important to remember about rhododendrons is they need to be deadheaded. After they bloom, you need to remove last year's flower. Very important with rhododendrons, also very important with lilacs. Other problems that rhododendrons get, they get something called a black vine weevil. A black vine weevil makes a notch in the leaf like this, okay? This is done by the adult reproductive of the adult insect. Okay, and they're just notching the leaves. This isn't the big deal. What does the damage to the rhododendron are the white grubs, okay, the larvae of this plant, of this insect, okay? The larvae eat the roots and eat the roots. And then what happens in the wintertime when the winds blow, the plant doesn't have enough root system to allow the leaves to transpire. And that's how you get windburn. It's kind of like sucking on a straw and then you put your finger on the straw and you see the straw collapse. Same idea. The leaves are transpiring, which means they want to pull water up the xylem of the plant and there's no root to allow the plant to pull the water and the cell walls collapse and voila, windburn. Another problem that rhododendrons get are stem borers. Very often you'll see an entire branch of the rhododendron dead. If you study in the crotch of the plant, if you look down, okay, in the crotch where the branches meet, you might see a little hole and a little sawdust. That is a stem borer. And lastly, a major problem of rhododendron is a fungus called Phytophthora. Okay, Phytophthora affects rhododendrons and the leaves look like this. And we treat the Phytophthora with a fancy fungicide, fungicide called mephinoxin. And ladies and gentlemen, that mephinoxin is $600 a quart. And we have a quart of it on every truck. So if you have rhododendrons, and you want your rhododendrons to be the best rhododendron they can be, you call Sterling Tree. Cut.